Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Shoppers can expect a few changes coming to Big Flats in the upcoming months. Back in September, Bed Bath & Beyond closed its doors after owners decided not to renew the lease. A new store will occupy that space, the popular discount home furniture store, Home Goods. Home Goods is owned by the same company that owns TJ Maxx as well as Marshalls. We can expect that store to open anywhere from 90 to 120 days. And as one store opens, another closes in Big Flats. Dress Barn, located next to Petco in Consumer Square, will close on January 26th. That is according to those signs on its doors. Governor Cuomo is urging unvaccinated New Yorkers to go and get a flu shot. New York State has seen a sharp rise in the cases of influenza over the past couple of weeks. Last January, Governor Cuomo signed an executive order allowing pharmacists to administer flu vaccines. This means you can avoid heading to the doctor's office and get a flu shot right at your pharmacy. Last year, 49 million Americans were diagnosed with the flu. Just under 1 million were hospitalized and around 79,000 people died from the flu. And so there's still time to get protection if you receive the flu vaccine. We have had some confirmed cases. Um, most recently, we've seen a rise in the past week or two, a significant increase. People can get the vaccine at their doctor's office or at local pharmacies. Some stores will offer the vaccine that have pharmacies in them. Uh, health departments can offer the vaccine. It's especially important for the elderly to receive the flu vaccine because they don't have a strong immunity and for young children under the age of 12 months. For any child six months or older, they're eligible to receive the flu vaccine. Unlike some viruses, influenza is easily killed by washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. This will help protect your family and your friends from those germs. Also, Make sure not to sneeze into your hands. A new year is here and it's time to get rid of those Christmas trees. Christmas tree pickup began yesterday in Corning and Elmira. Trees must be placed by the road, between the curb and the sidewalk. Trees should not have tinsel, ornaments, lights, or other decorations still on them. Elmira officials also request that snow be brushed off trees. After all, if you can't see the tree, the crews can't either. In Elmira, you have until January 31st to put out that tree. In Corning, the deadline is January 18th. We're looking ahead to a brief warm-up in our Big Fox forecast. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers has that next. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back everyone. You do see some chilly temperatures out there today with our high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s to near 40 in most areas late this afternoon. 37 degrees a high in Elmira, 38 in Corning, 39 degrees in Tuwanda, 33 in Ithaca, and 35 degrees in Bath. But some warmer weather is heading back to the area for tomorrow. Should get a little sunshine back in the forecast. We'll call it partly sunny and again milder weather looking like mid to upper 40s, maybe close to 50 in some areas as we head into your Friday afternoon. By the time we get to the weekend, a little rain moves in early in the day on Saturday. Still going to be mild though, so temperatures will be in the 40s, so it'll be all rain. Not expecting any type of wintry precipitation. Now on Sunday, we get a little bit cooler. We drop back into the 40s, may see a few flurries. Our next system that could bring some wintry precipitation actually arrives early next week, where we could see maybe some freezing rain or some ice on Monday as temperatures kind of hover around that freezing mark. Something to keep an eye on for early next week. But looking good, pretty good on Friday. Lots of sunshine expected across the area. We can see just down to our south, some rain developing well down to our south. That will eventually get into our area overnight Friday night and early into the day on Saturday, bringing at least a chance of some rain around to start our weekend. But 49 degrees, a high for your Friday. Partly sunny skies. Again, temperatures milder as we head out to the Friday afternoon. We'll see southwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Here's your 7-day forecast and we're in the mid-40s for highs on Saturday. And with those mid-40s, again, more rain likely as well, at least early in the day. I think otherwise it's mostly cloudy for the afternoon. A little chillier for your Sunday, 41. 
the high temperature. And again, you got to really watch that system on Monday. Right now, looking like you could see some mixing of some precipitation. Again, temperatures could be very close to freezing. As that could mean some freezing rain or some ice in the forecast as we head into your Monday. A little bit of light snow, possibly early Tuesday morning, which could change into rain as you warm back up on Tuesday. Yeah, back in the 40s, Tuesday afternoon, before a little bit cooler weather goes. So we head back into Wednesday and Thursday, back in the upper 30s. Over at those in the 20s next week as well. Something to keep an eye on is Monday. Again, could see a little icing on Monday. Something to keep an eye on mm. for early next week. All right. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. I'm Gray Nine.